It's Friday, April 19th, 2019, 41919. It's a fantastic Friday episode. On this episode, we're going to talk about not taking life too seriously. Coming up. If you like this episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button. The Hustle podcast has definitely been one of the top podcasts that I like to listen to all the time. Being someone who is in college and building a business, this podcast gives me new perspectives and insights into some of the things that I already do, uh, some different things that I can do differently to help improve my business and myself personally. Uh, all in all, it's definitely a really great listen and I would highly recommend it to everyone. Shout out to my friend Hunter Gore, Clemson University student, an all-around great person and going to make big things happen in the world before very long and he's already doing so much the financial hunter podcast go and check that out he's a real estate agent he's in school go give hunter a follow on his instagram at the hunter gore spelled hunter and then g-o-r-e and hunter thank you so much for the review appreciate you tuning into the podcast each week and guys if you want to be featured on a friday morning episode be sure to send me an instagram dm just put a quick whatever you want it to be throw that into the instagram dm on the audio recording and i'll throw you up on an episode i appreciate you listening and without further ado let's jump into this episode so if you've been listening to the show episode by episode then you're probably aware that I've gone back to a full-time to a full-time position on top of everything else that I'm already doing particularly called a SaaS company and that I'll say about it at this point just to keep things professional really excited about it thrilled nothing's going to change with the podcast production uh, as of right now the guests are still lined up interviews are still happening there's two more interviews being recorded this Saturday so this is still picking up in pace it's growing I'm putting time and energy into it I'm still throwing myself into this podcast. I'm not backing off of it at all. And as hard as it's going to be to make this happen, I have decided to keep going. That was pre-decided last year that when I started this, I was going to keep it going for years. Anyway, enough about me. I want to throw up a quick thing that I've been going through uh, as I feel that it would help potentially help you in your life. Being a man of faith, I don't care to... um, pretend that wisdom is coming from me or from my life. All of it I I, I know is from God. As humans, we can either limit or accelerate the rate at which we adopt and learn more wisdom uh, by choices we make and actions we take or lack thereof. Something that hit me today, and I've, I, th- I believe I've thought of this in the past as well. I was reminded of it again today, and that was Some people would call these like Eureka moment. I was walking around and essentially it hit me because I've been out of the corporate quote unquote type of world for so long. um, Things that would have used to confuse me about working in a work corporate work environment or even give me anxiety being inside all day or working in close quarters with other people. Things that maybe would have in the past, uh, you know, a few years ago caused me anxiety or stress. Now I look at so differently, and even that just being one example. Another example would be every situation that you put yourself in in your life or that you find yourself in, each and every circumstance has a unique purpose in your life, that experience. It's like, okay, so what? The point is this. We put so much emphasis on each and every experience, each and every moment sometimes, especially type A personality types. Not everyone does this. And my friend Emily Brimlow, amazing music, by the way, you need to go check her out. Check out her music. It's taught me to, even just through her music, the way she sings, the way that she delivers the music, it is just opening my heart to just loving more and being more almost childish in a a joyful way. It's a really beautiful thing because when I look back at music that I used to frequent uh, three, four years ago, it was very um, angry, very hard, and very... I don't know how else to put it, aggressive. Now I'm learning to adapt to each new season. And this direction of this episode is taking a weird turn. But I want to share, you know, we put a lot of emphasis on certain moments or, oh, I wonder what's going to happen in this situation. But remember, and this goes back to a past episode with Brittany Turner as well, with taking an aerial view of things, that bird's eye view, the big picture. Pull yourself out of that room, out of that situation, out of that exact present moment for a brief moment in your mind's eye and say, you can start to see things as they actually are. 
and you don't you you separate yourself from the worry and the anxiety that otherwise would probably pervade or try to eat away at your mind or try to confuse you where it doesn't need to you don't need to worry you don't need to have anxiety so many of us feel trapped by whatever circumstance or situation we may have in our life but the truth is i don't condone making bad decisions i'm not saying that what i am saying is you have the ability to make choices and many people are already saying well no i don't i have to work this job or i can't pay bills this is particularly why i'm targeting the young professional with my show we are in a stage in our life and a season in our life that I, every mentor I've had, if, and that's why I ask the park bench paradigm to people. I say, well, if you could go back in time, put your arm around your own shoulder when you were 20, 25, even late 20s, 30s, what would you tell your younger self to do, not to do, and why? The responses I get are amazing. And if you've listened to this show, then you know that's one of the favorite questions. I get feedback a lot about that question. And it's one of my favorite questions. And the biggest thing that I've noticed with responses, a really big thing I've noticed with responses to that question, what's interesting, you would expect people would wish that they knew now what they know, wish that what they know now they would have known back then. I'm very attracted to that lifestyle of consistently adopting people's lessons if they're edifying. So let's say somebody's learned a lesson the hard way when they were in their 20s and now they're 48, now they're 50, now they're 60, 70, 80, doesn't matter. But they've learned that lesson the hard way. They wasted you know, five, 15 years of their life. And looking back all in retrospect, it all played it played into their life story and, to, and, and it, it weaved in. But to I'm not saying to try to live a perfect life. Most of you listening, we have a unique, I got this concept from a book called The Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. And the concept is called, um, I might be mis- misquoting this, but velocity of decisions. Your velocity, if your life is a car, right? A dumb decision at this stage in your life has a ton of velocity. Uh, and again, I don't think velocity is the word to use. The point is like, let's say you're driving a Dodge Viper. You decide, you know, you're in your 20s, you just, like, every decision you make moves that Viper way down, like, makes a big impact in your life right now, but then because of our young age, it will be compounded over time. So these things that may seemingly small decisions today could in fact be a huge impact bomb later in our lives. Just boom, blow up in our own face when we're 40, 50, 60, heart attack. All these crazy things come back to get us uh, in the sense that you reap what you sow, but also recognizing the extremely unique advantage that we only get once in our life at this younger age, as young adults, as young professionals, to make decisions that will impact our future lives. It, God willing, if we live that long, we want to be making decisions that add up to a greater good versus decisions that in the moment don't don't seem like a huge deal. Here's the thing. When you're young, you're when you're young and free and don't have the the encumberments that come with life and family and work and all those encumberments, there is a unique advantage that must be capitalized on right now. Recognize the power of each and every decision that we have right now. Because if I'm honest, there are times where I'd get in the moment. I'm so grateful to God for this, but it's like this incredible sense of I'm good. God's got it. Not only that, I don't need to worry because I understand now, and I'm only 27. I'm only 27, but I understand how fast life is going and how short each se- each and every season is. So if you're in an awesome season of harvest right now and you're enjoying your life, really enjoy it. Allow it to soak into your pores. Just relish in the joy of the moment and really enjoy it. Enjoy it. Take it in. Soak it in. Exude that love to others and let others feel your um, your happiness and lift others up with you along that in that season. Life isn't always perfect and, you know, I believe genuinely that joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain and a sunny day wouldn't be as appreciated if it wasn't for rain. So that's going to do it for this episode. Once again, I want to thank Hunter for calling into the show. As always, live wide open and Godspeed. Fearless.